Hey, what's up, YouTube? This your girl Deidre here with another video for you guys, and today we're on episode 20. Oh my gosh, Edgardo put a gun to my head. Oh, I mean, I knew he was going to be hurt. The owl, she got to learn tack. Like, seriously. Oh, that man's emotional. You going to fuck with his feelings like that. Oh my God, I was so sad when he did it to our girl, man. <laughs> What's going to happen? Oh, I'm just, I'm scared. I'm scared for our girl, Ruby, man. I'm scared. Oh, no, we're not changing anything about her. But it's good that they, you know, have this option for us. So we could change our characters and stuff. Well, not necessarily. Some, some certain things we wasn't able to change with them. But I like, I like how they look. I'm totally fine with the way they look for real, for real. Oh my gosh. No phone. Cut out phone. Goodness gracious. Made it difficult. I'm scared. Oh, see. Any last words? <sighs> Man. You might as well say it. I'm not going to say go to hell. <laughs> I You told them where we were. How could I? Oh damn, this is loud. How could I? I've been locked in a cell. You have another tracking device in you. Shit. What in the world? That was unexpected. Shit. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? If you scream, I'll shoot you. We need to get out of the cabin. And walk into another one of your traps? Trust me, Agardo. This isn't a trap. I'm trying to save you. I know you don't want anything to, hap to happen to your colleagues. If you go against me in any way, I'll shoot them and then you'll be next. Wow. They got something on her, but where? They're gone inside. How did they know how to find us? I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing the undercover officer you hired put a tracking in on tracking in all your cars. And you're only telling me this now? I'm only after figuring it out, Garcia. Join them. What? I'm giving you the chance to leave. Oh man, he's giving you a chance? I don't want to leave. I'll never be able to accept you, Ruby. Oh my gosh. Her eyes shifted to the side and became glossed with a glassy layer of tears. She blinks and they drip from her eyelids and slid down her cheeks. She bites her lower she bites her lower lip tightly in an attempt to hide any sound that wants to escape her from her mouth. My heart sank. This is crazy. This is so crazy. I hate to see her upset. Even after everything she has done to me. I wrap my hands around her lower back and pull her into a kiss. My mind, my mind cycles through emotions. Emotions I thought I never had or would ever have. I grew to care about this beautiful woman. We had something different, but her lies has turned everything to poison i would never be able to forgive her i would never feel the same way about her again she has broken my trust yet you kiss her <laughs> years of hiding from the police and i let one into my life without realizing i would never forgive myself for letting her into my family's lives she had a motive she wanted to take me away from my family forever she fooled all of us and yet here i am kissing her Damn, I feel fucking stupid. I guess you would, man. But I can't seem to pull away. When she looked at me with her teary eyes, it was as if every ounce of breath was taken from my lungs. Kissing her made my world stop, leaving just the two of us behind. I don't know why I feel this way. She never leaves my mind. She's always there mentally and physically. 
I wish I never found out the truth because she was my stable force, my one stability in my world filled with chaos. The feelings I'm feeling is so strange. They stretch throughout my whole body. It's overwhelming, yet makes me feel complete. She completes, she makes me complete. She has given me peace. She has helped me through my sister's death. What if it was her way of getting me to trust her? Her way of making my heart vulnerable. She was a complete stranger. Now I'm completely infuriated by her. I wonder how I will live without her because I can't imagine being without her. Deep down, I knew I had to let her go. We are two different people. I can't bring myself to kill her. So this is our goodbye kiss. Is it really? Goodbye, Ruby. No, Ricardo. I want to stay with you. If you stay, I'll have to kill you. I'm giving you the chance. I'm giving you the choice to live or die. I want to live, but I don't want to go back to America. I want to be with you. This is crazy. This is crazy. You can't do this to me, Garcia. Oh my God. I watch as the police car dr drives off. I don't know whether I've done the right thing. Officer Rose will tell them everything. I need to leave the country before they catch me. Goodbye, Deidre. This is... Ugh. I could smell her before I felt her hand on, on mine. What? I told you to leave. Nobody tells me what to do. <laughs> I brought I bought us some time. We need to leave now. What have you done, Ruby? I'll explain everything later. Come on before we're both behind bars. Now, Garcia <laughs> We need to get changed first. Wow. Are they on the run? <laughs> I think they're on the run. This is crazy. <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Get out of the room then. You're on your last warning. I saved your ass. Yeah, she kind of did, man. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe the turn of events. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be something else. Let's go sexy. We better leave before they realize I've sent them up. Wow, you need to burn this place so there's no evidence. This is all your fault. You had to mess with my life. Stop acting like a baby and burn your rundown cabin. <laughs> wow. We need to get out of here. Yeah, right. I can't even believe this. <laughs> Carlos, I need to leave Mexico for a while. Send my pilot send my pilot to you, to you know where. Okay. Take care of my family. What happened, boss? I'll call soon. Do what I asked you to do. <laughs> where are we going? You're not coming with me. I'm dropping you at the side of the road. No, please don't. I have nowhere to go. You should have thought about that before you decided to try to try get me backed up. I don't care what you say. I'm coming with you. Well, how about that? <laughs> thought so, asshole. I'm going to make your life a total misery. You don't have to try. You already do. Yet you want to stay with me. Oh, my gosh. Dispose of the car. Get inside. <laughs> oh my god. She just ran away with him. <laughs> I did not expect this. I've never been on a private plane. Enjoy. Are you going to be short with me forever? Nah. I'll be rid of you soon. Why the hell did you kiss me if you can't stand be being beside me? Work it out. You're a cop, after all. 
You'll never get near my lips again, you player. I don't plan to when we arrive in Italy. I love Italian women. No one will ever be as good as me. Why are we going to Italy? I'm not even going to explain why. No one will ever be as good as me. Doll, I've had a three-way the other night. You can't get much better than that. Watch what you say, man. Hey, Italy? I can't believe we're going to Italy. Edgardo must not want to be found. What has my life become? I'm chasing a man that wants nothing to do with me. I'm traveling across the world to be with him and he doesn't want me there. Uh, the man that killed my husband. I wanted to get my revenge so badly, but now I'm chasing a man that wants to kill me. He hates me and it hurts. It hurts so bad. I should have left when I when he had given me the chance. I was stupid to stay with him. Ruby? Oh, gosh. As soon as we get to Italy, I'm leaving. I won't be a burden anymore. I won't show my face in America again. You have my word. As nice as that sounds, Ruby, you won't be leaving my side again. What? I don't trust you, nor will I ever. But I saved you today. You saved yourself. Anyways, how do I know it's not part of your plan that you and your colleagues didn't set me up? You see, Ruby, your lies have gotten you into this mess. And now your life is over because you will, you will be my captive until the day you die. Are you kidding me? No, Agardo, please don't. I want to be more than your captive. I want you. I'll do anything. Please let me go. Uh, I mean, I wanted to be with him. I want to be more than your captive. I want you. You are crazier than I thought. I know you felt what I felt during the months we spent together. I don't feel anything, and you'll realize that when we get to Italy. He, gosh, he's just hurt. He's just saying hurtful shit now. I guess whatever that means. Let's see, uh, chill, Andrea. Do you remember that favor you owe me? Oh my gosh. The next day. Okay. Does it really take a whole day to go to Italy from America? Huh. Maybe. Hey! Look at that house. Anyone in? I bet it's a woman. Thought so. Mr. Garcia. Wow, she's very pretty. I haven't seen you in a while. Did you miss me, Freckles? So much. That's good to hear. Well, great. Have you seen Andrea? Andrea? Oh, Andrea, is, I guess I should say. He stopped by an hour ago and said he'd be around later. Wow, okay. It doesn't look like you've missed me. You haven't given me my kiss yet. Wow. I'm sorry. I assumed that beautiful woman was your girlfriend. I don't do girlfriends. If you're single, then I do owe you a kiss. Well, there you go. And there you go. Damn. I should visit Italy more often. I have given that man my all, and this is how he returns the favor. I know he is upset because I've lied to him, but he is taking it to another level. He is making me feel emotions I, f I never felt. Anger, sadness, pain. I couldn't force myself to, to look at him kiss another woman. I had to leave. I couldn't control my anger. Honestly, I'll just leave. I couldn't force myself to look look at look at him kiss another woman. I had to leave. It was too much for my heart to handle. Wow, that was something else. I'm going to kill her. Ruby. Get the bed warmed up. I'll be with you in a minute. Don't take too long, handsome. 
And that's sad. Ruby! I told you not to leave my side when we get to Italy. Did you expect me to stand and watch you make out with some woman? Yes, I do. Well, you can think again because I will not be played as a mug. Karma is a fucking bitch, so get used to it. I know what I did was wrong, but you rubbing a woman in my face is out of line. Have you no respect for me? Probably not. I lost all the respect I had for you when you decided to pretend to be Deidre Edge. Oh, man. I'm trying to fix it. I risked everything to buy you time to escape. You want me to be grateful? Get to your room. I'll tell you when you can come out. Wow. Wow. What has my life become? I'm on the run from the police. I'm sure they have figured out that I set them up and for what? To be treated like dirt by a guardo? Everything, everything would have been different if, if a guardo didn't kill my husband. I would have been happy. We probably would have had a couple of kids running around our house. And now, I'm locked away in a room with nobody that cares about me. Things could have been different if I had rejected to get a guardo behind bars. I could have been the same old Ruby, not this person I've become. This is so sad. I feel bad for her. Gotta help you out, man. I've got to help her out. Hopefully there's some choices where I could just get her some type of way. Ooh, Eddie, please don't stop. Do you like that, Freckles? I was stupid to give myself to him. Once a whore, always a whore. What is going to happen now? Ooh, we're at the police station. Officer Rose told us what what direction Agarda Garcia went. By the time we got back to the cabin, she was gone and also Garcia's car. Why didn't you bring Officer Rose with you? She said she was going to take the evidence back to America while we find Garcia. She could be anywhere with that scumbag and it's all because of you two. We'll find her, boss. Not when Elgardo Garcia took her tracking devices out of her. Can you track his car? No, we found the tracking device that was supposed to be on his car outside the burnt cabin. Man, it isn't all bad, Chief. Officer Rose bring, Garcia, bring Garcia's captive is a bonus. When we find him, we can arrest him for all his crimes. That's if we find Officer Rose alive. Man, <sighs> this is crazy. Ruby, get in here right now. What? I don't even look her up and down. I think you lost that shit. Did you have fun last night? More than likely. What was it you said to me before? Last night's clothes? Very classy. I didn't realize you heard everything. To answer your question, I had the time of my life. Strange. You didn't moan once. Men don't moan. If my memory is correct, I couldn't stop you moaning. <laughs> Get back here now. No. <laughs> man, oh man. They're going to be back and forth with each other. What did I say about doing as you as I say? Haven't you realized I never do as I'm told? Well, you better start because I've employed someone to keep an eye on you. What? Why can't you keep an eye on me? I'll continue to work over here and I don't need to deal with an uncontrollable traitor. What is the point of me being here? You chose to follow me to Italy. I gave you the chance to leave with those pigs. Blame yourself. You could have gone back to your normal life. I made a mistake by saving your ungrateful ass. I'd rather be a, I'd rather be a bird than living with you than be a part of the police force. <sighs> yeah, probably that way. I wouldn't want to be something. Something's not right with the police. <sighs> Whatever. Why did? Why do you hate the police force? 
they planted two devices inside me without my knowledge. Still to this day, I don't know how they planted them. They obviously didn't trust me enough to ask for my permission. Maybe they had a feeling you turned against them. It's because of them that I've turned against them. Gosh. Whatever. Who is the person you hired? You'll find out very soon. You will you will not tell him your real name, so you'll have to use Deidre. Which, that won't be a problem as you've lied to everyone for months. Why do I have to use my fake name? No one will want to work for me if they know you're a police officer. Was a police officer. Who cares? You're still a pig in the eyes of people like us. Whatever. Oh, and put some damn clothes on. You won't walk around my house half naked. I only have winter clothes. Taylor used to visit here during the summer. You're staying in her old room. I'm sure she has left some clothes behind. Are you sure you don't mind me wearing her clothes? No. I know she will want you to have them. Even if you have betrayed us all. I've betrayed you. The relationships I've built were real. Get dressed. I have work to do. When you're ready, I'll introduce you to your new sitter. God. Wouldn't it be funny if it's the husband? I hate him so much. I'm a grown-ass woman. I don't need a freaking sitter. Oh, man. If you want to play Dirty Garcia, so will I. Yes, girl, let's do this. He, she, he is really fucking with you. I saw a swimming pool in the garden. He wants me to wear clothes? Not going to happen. I'm going to wear the most revealing swimming outfit. Let's see what we got, what we got, what we got. Okay. Ooh, the white one. The other one kind of clashes with the tattoo. Yeah. Where the hell is she? She really does know how to rub me up the wrong way. I have arrived. What's he mad for? Who is that? Who is that? I told you to put clothes on. It's warm and I want to use the pool. You must be my sitter. I'm Deidre. It's a pleasure to meet you. I should have killed her. It's nice to meet you, Deidre. My name is Andrea. Please don't consider me as your sitter. More like friends. Make Garcia jealous. Don't make Gar Yeah, we're making him jealous. Fuck all of that. He was fucking with you. <laughs> Maybe we could be more than friends, especially when you'll be following me everywhere. <laughs> Go to the pool or wherever you said you were going. <laughs> Later. If you make a move on her, I will find out and you won't like the consequences. Chill, cousin. I'm only doing my job. She is cute, though. <laughs> Oh, I will have fun with him. Hey, Andrea. You, let's call him Andre. Good day, Greta. I'll catch up with you later. I want to talk to Ruby. Who's Ruby? The new girl. You must be mistaken. Her name is Deidre. Nope. I heard Ricardo call her Ruby yesterday. Hmm. Can I sit with you? Whatever. So, how are you settling in? It was hard to settle in with all the noise last night. Uh, I'm just going to say perfectly. Perfectly. That's good. How do you know Edgardo? More like, how do you know him? I'm, on, I'm just going to say Andre. I'm Andre's best friend. When Edgardo found out I was homeless, he allowed me to stay in his house while he was in Mexico. He has, a, he has a thing for homeless women. So are you going to tell me how you know Agardo? It's none of your business. Tell her some of the story. Yeah, I'll tell her some of the story. I was homeless, and Agardo gave me a home, a job, and a family. You, you may become friends with... Oh, okay. He's a good guy. He has his moments. I don't want you to think I'm nosy, but are you and Agardo a thing? Wow. We have slept together, but he doesn't want anything serious. I'm sorry. You must think I'm a total bitch for sleeping with him last night. It won't happen again. 
Greta has loyalty. She won't sleep with Garter because she respects your relationship. This is this is only because you were nice to her. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> oh, okay. Well, how about that? Girl code. She isn't as bad as I thought. I think we'll become good friends while I'm living here. You don't have to, but I appreciate it. I'm not the type of girl to come between some woman's man. Thank you. I don't think it matters, man. It don't even matter. Says he want to be a fucking asshole. Sheesh. Marte. Martia. Mattia. Can't you see I'm on the phone? Edgardo Garcia is in Italy. Rude. How do you know Edgardo? He's my stubborn first cousin. How are you cousins when you live in Italy? My father didn't want to be part of the gangsta world, so he moved to Italy with my mother before I was born. You had a lucky escape. I still do jobs for Edgardo, but I'm nothing like him. I can tell. <laughs> his mother his mother or father's side? His mother's side. Oh. Do you miss her? Of course. She was an amazing woman. Kept them all in line. If she was still here, Gardo wouldn't be so ruthless. Well, I guess so. You could take the rest of the day off. Ugh. I'll call around for a beer later. I have something to discuss with you. See you tomorrow, Amor. <laughs> Bye. What? Your swimming suit is see-through. Oh, well, is it now? Are you coming to bed? Wow, I don't think it's a good idea. Because you befriended Gerda, she is loyal to you. Oh, nice. Why not? I don't want to be used for sex. Fair enough. Well, all right. At least he was honest. Oh, and then he's just in the bathroom. Sorry, I didn't realize you were in here. What in the hell? Uh, you see me in a lot less. Guilty. Whatever, I guess. No, he could be some type of way all he wants. Man, such a freaking asshole he is. Why did you call Deidre Amor? What else would I call her when I don't know her real name? Wow. What's that supposed to mean? I was talking to Gerda today. And she heard you call Deidre Ruby. Care to explain? Wow. I didn't tell you her real name because she's in trouble. I'm your cousin. All you had to do was tell me. I wouldn't put her life in danger. You aren't part of my world and... I am now since I'm her bodyguard. I deserve to know the truth. Yeah, true. That's the story for another day. Let's call her Ruby. Am I interrupting your conversation? Of course not, Amor. I mean, Ruby. You know my name. Edgardo has told me everything. You don't mind that I'm an ex-cop? What did you just say? I guess he didn't say anything. She's joking. I was thinking, I was thinking because you wouldn't let a pig in your life. Yeah, he, mm. <laughs> Dag his face. Her face. You idiot. I told you to keep your mouth shut. If anyone found out you are a cop, they would want you dead. And I would lose everything. Stop shouting at me. No, Ruby. You don't understand. You've ruined everything. My life will never be the same because of you. I can't bear to look at you. Sheesh. My life would never be the same either. You did this to yourself. Was I really worth it? Good question, sir. Oh, damn, she got sick. Ruby, are you okay? Oh my God, that's not good. That is really not good. Oh my God, are you okay? You'll be okay. I can't live like this. It's making me physically sick. 
Are you finished? Are you finished getting sick? I think so. Come over to the sink and brush your teeth. He actually gives a fuck. Alright. <sighs> Are you okay now? I'm not going to get sick anymore if that's what you're if that's what you're wondering. I'm sorry. For what? For putting so much pressure on you. I hate the way you lied to me. I hate the way you tried to get me locked up. I hate the way you betrayed me. But I don't hate you. I should, but I don't. I hate myself for what I've done to you. You're a good person. I don't need someone who sees the good in me. I need someone who sees the bad and still wants me. I see all of you. And I still want you. This is stupid. My baby. Really? Really? So I guess this really is going to be a back and forth thing. This is going to be a back and forth thing, apparently. So this is what the fuck we going to do. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Get the door, Juan. Oh my God, it's the police. We have a right to search the premises. No, you don't. You're on Mexican land. We believe you have someone held captive. You're still not getting inside. Bye. I knew you'd say that. Officer Rosa. I'm Officer Rosa, and I am a part of the Mexican police force. We have a warrant to check this building. Wow. 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 What are... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why does every ending fucks with my life? Oh, my God. This, man, is Ruby pregnant? That would be, be crazy if she is. That would be so crazy if she is. If she's pregnant. Young. I don't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Oh, my God. <sighs> kind of wish she could have got some play with the cousin, man. He kind of deserved that, fucking around with threesomes and, and, and Gerda. Uh-uh. I would, I would seriously play that ass. I wish I had some more. Oh, gosh. Ugh. Let me end this now. <sighs> That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you like this video, slap that like button. Oh, and while you're at it, you might as well slap that subscribe button so you see more of me and all this episode drama. What will Juan find out? Who you will will Juan find out who you really are? Yeah. He's eventually gonna find out, but when, who knows? Till next time, people. Bye. Stay safe. Wash your hands and stay away from crowds if you're not trying to get sick. Oh, I wish I could have got him back more. Uh, I wish I could have gotten back more. <sighs>